Hi there, here we have the 2012 VW app. This is the one litre Move Blue Motion. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing you the condition of the um, bodywork. I'll also be going inside the car, showing you the interior and all the controls inside the car as well. So starting off with the front, as you can see, no sort of major scuffs or scratches on the front. Vampire bonnet is nice and clean as well, so no sort of marks. So new tyres at the front and back, so I'll be showing you all the tyres as you can see. No sort of marks on the side of the vehicle. Just to confirm, it is a one previous owner. Rashmore's, I've done a full mechanical check, a full service, and a new 12 months MOT will also be done at point of sale. New can belt and water pump also done by Rushmore's as well. So as you can see, moving on to the back of the car, no, no major scuffs or scratches. So once again, the bodywork is in great condition considering the, um, the age of the vehicle. As I mentioned, no scuffs or scratches. AA warranty as well as the 12 months breakdown cover. So that all comes in with the price of the car. It does also have the option to um, extend the warranty up to 36 months. So this is, this is something we recommend at Rushmore's. Obviously more as a peace of mind. You've seen the condition of the exterior. Let's jump inside the car, show you the interior as well. Starting off with the front passenger door. So it does have the front electric windows. Dash is all nice and clean as well. So as you can see, it does have the nice gloss black finish. So a nice color combination. You've got the white exterior with a black interior. So it does also have the um, button just here. So you literally just push that and you can jump into the back. It's the back seats. It does have the isofix at the back. It does have the two cup holders just there as well. So as you can see, no sort of tears on the seats. Okay, let's have a look at the boot space. So to open up the boot, there is the button just here. It does have the uh, plastic shelf, so obviously no one can see what's inside your boot. It's a decent boot space really, considering the size of the car. You can take this off and have a more depth to your boot as well. So this is very, very easy to come off. So as you can see, I've literally just taken that off now. So it gives you a more depth to your boot. And you can also pop it back in as well. There we go. Very, very nice and easy to work with. Okay, so driver's side door now. Once again, as I mentioned, the um, front electric windows. Let's just have a look at the back seats once again from this angle. So as you can see, it does have the cup holders as well, just there. Okay, so moving on inside the car now. Let's just turn the ignition on so I can show you how the uh, the screen does work. Possible delays at Fenchurch Street due to speed restrictions over defective track. Okay, right. Three, so, seven, BBC Radio London Travel. Let's just turn this off. So at the moment, as you can see, it does have the car info. You have your navigation, you have your phone and media. So if we go on to na the, the navigation first, so you've got new destination, my destination, so obviously your save destination, take me home, so you can obviously add your destination as you see your um, to take you straight home. If you go on show map, as you can see just there, so it does have the um, the map. I'm sure you can see it through the, through the camera. Um, it is quite sunny out there today as well, which is quite nice, but for the, for the purpose of this video, is not visible on the camera as much so i do apologize however as you can see just there so it does have the map this is all touch screen as well if we go back onto the actual home page let's go onto the phone so there is no phones connected at the moment but you can connect your phone as well so very very nice and easy to do so so you just go onto the options and then you go onto the settings and then connect your phone on there once it is connected any phone calls that come through so you can answer it on your uh, on your screen just there 
You've also got your media, so the car radio. So as you can see just there, it does connect to the actual car as well. So you can obviously change it and it will play around. The radio, obviously you can change here as well yourself manually, but you can do it on the screen. And another cool thing about it as well is if you're parked up somewhere and you want to take the screen off, you know, you don't want it to be showing, you can take it off very, very nice and easy. This does turn off and then you can put this in the glove box. So very, very nice to obviously have. And then once you're back in your car, back to go to your journey, you just reconnect it on and that's it. So if you press, there we go. Very, very nice and easy to work with. It does have the AC button just there. Obviously your uh, front demister, rear demister, your hazard lights are just there. You also have your auto stop start. So when you're in traffic, go, the car will automatically turn off. Put your foot back onto the clutch, push the clutch in, um, the car will automatically turn on. It does have this five speed gearbox, the 12 volts is there, another cup holder. It does have the, uh, let's just turn the car on, obviously all the lights do disappear. 45,751 miles. Right, so you've seen the condition of the exterior and interior of the vehicle. If there is any further questions or you need to find this arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call as we're more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. Alright, thanks for watching.